For the entrance, let us sing the hymn as we gather, hymn number A hundred and nineteen, page fifty four. to you all my dear friends good morning father this mass we offer for the eternal repose of sacramenta fernandez and we also offer this mass for the eternal repose of freddy fernandez we pray that they may find eternal rest we also lift up all our personal prayers and petitions before our loving master let us pray for our family members for ourselves for all the people who love us whom we love those who are struggling in hospitals those who are suffering who are bedridden we pray for all of them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear friends today's liturgy is inviting us to remember that we are all people as christians people of forgiveness because our lord jesus christ is our role model who teaches us day in and day out that we ought to be the face of the father's mercy and therefore we are all called to forgive those who inflict pain upon us who hurt us in little ways and great ways so that the more we forgive the other our heavenly father will forgive us our trespasses keeping these thoughts in mind let us humbly partake in this eucharist and today we also commemorate the memoria of saint claire the virgin her life was a life of poverty a life of humility before god she started the order of the poor clares and their life was intensely with poverty she followed the example of saint francis of assisi and at the age of 18 she left her the ordinary life and formed this order so her life was an exemplary life for every person who is living a life of pride who is living a life of a lack of humility before god so let us imbibe her values as well and partake humbly in this eucharist and for the times when we have failed to be people of forgiveness 
when we have failed to be people of humility before God, when we have shown that we have a lot of pride, so much so that we have considered the other person as a sinner and I am not a sinner, when I have judged the other person, when I have not embraced the sinner, but also condemned the sinner. Let us ask pardon from the Lord and together say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, through my, through my fault, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led Saint Claire to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house who have eyes to see but see not, who have ears to hear but hear not, for they are a rebellious house. As for you, son of man, prepare for yourself an exile's baggage and go into exile by day in their sight. You shall go like an exile from your place to another place in their sight. Perhaps they will understand, though they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage by day in their sight as baggage for exile. And you shall go out yourself at evening in their sight, as those do who must go into exile. In their sight, dig through the wall and bring your baggage out through it. In their sight, you shall lift the baggage upon your shoulder and carry it out at dusk. You shall cover your face that you may not see the land. For I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. And I did as I was commanded. I brought out my luggage by day as bag baggage for exile. And in the evening, I dug through the wall with my own hands. I brought out my baggage at dusk, carrying it on my shoulder in their sight. In the morning, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, has not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, said to you, what are you doing? Say to them, Thus says the Lord God, 
This oracle concerns the prince in Jerusalem and all the house of Israel who are in it. See, I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. They shall go into exile, into captivity, and the prince who is among them shall lift his baggage upon his shoulder at dusk and shall go out. They shall dig the wall to bring him out through it. He shall cover his face that he may not see the land with his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never, Never forget, forget the deeds, the deeds of, of the, the Lord. Lord. With defiance, they tested God most high. They refused to obey his decrees. They strayed, faithless like their fathers. They betrayed him like a treacherous bow. Response, never, never forget, forget the, the deeds, deeds of, of the, the Lord. Lord. They provoked God to wrath with their high places, made him jealous with the idols they served. God heard this and was filled with fury. He utterly rejected Israel. Response, never, never forget, forget the, deeds the deeds of, of the, the Lord. Lord. He gave his strength into captivity, his splendor to the hands of the foe. He gave up his people to the sword and showed his anger against his heritage. Response, never, never forget, forget the deeds, the deeds of, of the Lord. Lord. Acclamation. Let your face shine forth on your servant and teach me your decrees. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So this fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. 
he refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant? As I had mercy on you, and in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Now when Jesus had finished these sayings, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's liturgy is inviting us to be people of forgiveness. Now in our day-to-day -day life, if we reflect upon every moment or every day that we spend, we will have so many people who we have not forgiven. None of us over here can say that I do not have any person who I have not to forgive or I have not forgiven or I never had a need to forgive anyone. I am a good person. No one can say that because at one point or the other someone has hurt us, be it our friends, our relatives and we have found it very difficult to forgive that person. So today let us reflect on our life. How many people are there in our life whom we have still not forgiven? Who are still on the list of unforgiven people in our, in our diary of life? Let us ask ourselves, why can't I forgive that person? Now Jesus today is calling us to forgive the other person. And he says it is not easy. He knows that it is not easy. But he showed us how to do it on the cross. Because when he died on the cross, looking at all those soldiers, the Pharisees, the scribes, who wanted to kill him, who wanted him to be dead, the ones who inflicted him so much of pain and suffering, and yet he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So Jesus is giving us the ultimate example that is, we need to forgive our brothers and sisters. And today when Peter, in the gospel, he is asking Jesus, how many times must I forgive my brother who sins against me? Is it seven times? Now Peter was trying to give an answer to Jesus, was trying to please him. So he's saying, is it seven times? And he thought that Jesus would be impressed by saying seven times. But Jesus, he rather disappoints Peter and tells Peter that it's not only seven times, but 70 times seven. So when Jesus is calling us to reflect on our forgiveness, how much we ought to be people of forgiveness, he gives us this parable of the person, of the master who wants to sort out his accounts with his servants. And he finds one servant who is owing him a lot of money. And he calls him and tells him that you have to pay. Even so much so that his wife, his children and all that he had, everything was at stake. And at this moment, this young servant, this, he pleads to the master and he says that please forgive me, please wait, I will pay your debt. And the master, he has pity on this person, on his servant, and he forgives him all the debt. So Jesus is trying to show to us that when 
we are to forgive our fellow brothers and sisters, how much ever it may be the worst sin or the worst atrocity that is committed against you, you must be ready to forgive that person, to forgive the debt of that person, to let that person go in peace. And yet, we ought to embrace that person. In the introductory words, I was saying that we, many a time, we fail to embrace the sinner. We judge the sinner. And Jesus is calling us to condemn the sin, but yet to embrace the sinner. And we need to do this. Now, according to what Peter was saying to Jesus, he is presenting before Jesus seven times as in, okay, a justified number of times. So, he is presenting before Jesus that we are also to be just at the same time merciful. And when Jesus is telling him that it is to be unlimited number of times, Jesus is saying, not rejecting justice, but rather he is saying that mercy, yes, to condemn the sin, but not the sinner. We need to take this back home with us. We many a time condemn the sinner along with the sin. We fail to embrace the sinner. So today, let us reflect on three points. First of all, when Jesus is calling us to forgive, he is telling us that forgiveness has no limit. There is no limit for forgiveness. So we ought to forgive n number of times and secondly he says that it is not easy to forgive but yet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ thirdly has died for our sins he has redeemed us 1 Corinthians 7 23 Saint Paul will tell us that Jesus by dying on the cross has paid the price for our salvation he has bought us and therefore, we have received a redemption, a salvation through the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, we ought to imbibe his value of forgiveness. So firstly, forgiveness is unlimited. Secondly, when we forgive, it is not easy to do so. And therefore, thirdly, we need the grace of Jesus Christ. As we partake in this Eucharist, let us remember all the people in our life whom we find it difficult to forgive and let them place them at the altar. In some moments, we will be having the offertory. We are entering the liturgy of the Eucharist and when we are doing so, let us place all these people whom we find it difficult to forgive along with the bread and wine before our loving Father. For the offertory, let us sing, Lord, accept this bread and wine, hymn number B23, page 73. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the for praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and, and the good of all, all his holy church. 
as we proclaim your wonders o lord in the virgin blessed claire we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god true christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy 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 holy, holy, holy lord, lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ true him and with him and in him 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. This is our Saviour Jesus Christ, who is calling us to be people of mercy, to show the Father's mercy to everyone around us. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For communion, let us all join in singing, O Lord, I am not worthy, hymn number D49, page 121. <laughs> Your 
let us pray renewed by partaking of this divine gift we pray o lord our god that by the example of saint claire bearing in our body the death of jesus we may strive to hold fast to you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with, with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen amen go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks be to god. god let us sing the hymn go the mass is ended hymn number x19 page 359 